Hi guys, I'm Uncle Richie. Yo, what up? Jay Money's back. And this is C10. And you're listening to The Uncle's Podcast. feel sort of refreshed for my week 100% um, I'm definitely gonna get up and you know do some physical activity in the morning I think um, that, that yeah you know Benton just really you know he gave me goosebumps he definitely did and uh, you can really tell he has a very influential um, persona and um, you know very, he has a lot of leadership qualities that uh, again he, he's very humble in his uh, in, in the sense that he doesn't like talking about himself in that sort of to do with rugby and stuff like that, but he's he's definitely uh you know he's he's, he's an asset to have on the on oh the man ground, so. big asset and you know he's a guy that's going to come onto the podcast you know every now and then um, he's become a great friend since he played you know muscle eyes with with us so, uh, I mean shout out to Benton. Um, on that last episode and you know guys if you haven't uh, gone and followed his page uh, rise to infinite greatness yet uh, definitely you know go on and and uh, give him a follow because you know some days when I'm down and I uh, go on to that page or because I do follow it you know some of the content he puts out you know it just picks me up again 100% um, and it just makes me want to you know Run through a wall, so to speak. Oh, powerful, powerful, powerful. powerful. That's powerful. the kind of energy Benton gives us. So yeah, he, you know, like and follow as Richard said. So get yeah. on to it, guys. Shout uh, out to him. Uh, but this app, Chucky. Yes. You know, one of the greatest gifts of life is uh, food. Oh yes. And uh, uh, us as Papua New Guineans, we love our kakai. Means I like my kakai. <laughs> <laughs> no, honest. I, lo- I love. I'm a, you know, fire up. Just go home. I, the first thing I, I do when I when I finish work is try to make a meal before dinner. So mm. obviously, why the weights picked up uh, recently, uh. but <laughs> but you know, yeah, it's uh, definitely a gift of life, as you said. Um, but before we get into that, um, I, I just wanted to mention. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the. The women's uh, rugby league here in Brisbane. Um, so that match they had on uh, some of our, or well, one of our listeners corrected myself, and um, she said that um, that match was actually uh, it's almost like a exhibition match to to get the girls playing together again. Um, on the day during nines, we saw them come in and slot in that extra time during the breaks um, to you know promote the game, but also um, to have a friendly with the Logan side. Um, that was. Yeah, that was, uh, I guess, for the girls to start, you know, gelling together and uh, moving on to, you know, bigger things like looking at the orchid side as well. So um, there's a couple of there's a couple of girls in that team that um, use that uh, use the kokomos, but use the women's um, rugby league um, here in Brisbane to venture into that other um, team like the higher orchids, yeah, the club orchid squad the wider squad mm. and the clubs and mm. it's a good good chance for them to like um, really promote the game gain uh, some exposure gain some exposure and, and just get fit and ready for the for the tournaments coming up so but uh back to food yes, uh, as I was saying I love my food I love eating I love munchies I love everything so oh, I love it too yeah what's uh what's your fa- some of your favorite dishes? Oh, favorite PNG dish. Yes. Man, it would have to be, you know, nice little, uh, you know, coconut sago balls oh, yes. from Milne Bay. Oh, yum. Oh, just, you know, in the coconut sauce and those sago balls are kind of like jelly and 
<laughs> nah, it's just delicious, man. I can, uh, I can uh, test it. I can already so. taste that. And then, you know, you yeah. just get the normal, even just normal sago, like, oh, yeah. you know, wrapped up in the the nice um, you know, banana leaf. Banana leaf. Mixed with uh, banana as well. There's, there's different names for it, but, mm. oh, man. There's actually this one um, that reminds me of, well, yeah, you, yeah. is there a, another dish you'd like? No, but I got... <laughs> now just on the topic of sago yeah, actually yeah, yeah. Um, there's this one i remember these caramel people uh Ooh. so shout out jackman uh, if you're listening yeah. well, uncle jackman's <laughs> not here tonight he's he's yeah. busy but mate j money um every time i speak to j money about food like he reminds me of this caramel family that when i was young back in tableville probably isido i think it's called or something but yeah sack yeah. fish mate oh and just rolled in like Bananas or a uh, banana leaf or a uh, pandanus leaf. Oh, yes. Mate. Love that, the pandanus oh, tree. The smell of that, like the fish and the saksak, you, you can't like. It's different. Yeah, it's different. You it's, can't get it anywhere else, like, yeah, honestly. Yeah. And I, I know, um, I think Sipic people are a big saksak group as people that mm. eat a lot of saksak. Shout out to all the It Sipic must brothers. be a river thing. It has to be, because that's where saksak grows. Uh, you know, the yeah, the you know the Fly River and uh, yeah, Sipic River, Sipic River, same, same. Land, yeah. That's uh, Saksak thrives in those environments. But the fish Saksak, I think um, there's other things like prawns or I think kindam or like Ooh. Saksak na binatang or something. Oh, you know? yum! Just some really good sago dishes there. And yeah. For for those who don't know what Saksak is, sago. I think we explained it in the one of the earlier episodes, but yeah. it's just pure starch. Um, settled like settled down at the bottom of uh, of the water. Almost fermented. Almost yeah. fermented. You know, left yeah. for a couple of weeks to break down, and yeah, it just comes out as a nice sort of powder, and you know, different dishes like nangu and mm. other side. Richard said the ones in, in the Milan Bay have their own dish. So yeah, it's a uh, I guess a you know? universal, but like a national. Yeah, national, national delicacy. Kai kai. kai kai, and you know you can't go past your. Your momo and I get. Oh. oh man, here we go. Uh, now we're getting to someone the say I get. Make a clap. Yeah. <laughs> Make that. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, no, honest. Okay, Seriously, we're talking about the food. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, next level. I, I, I get. I saw. Um, Where's the like where's where have you had the best idea oh man is there one that takes you back takes me back that that flavor that i just remember like mm. i think i was in lay and one of my tola aunties um she she made i gear well as i said um i think you, you all know that it's a uh, you know i gear is a process where you if you're involved in it mm. like it's that hard work that pays off in the end where you just sit down and eat your hard work oh. um, bro the scraping of the coconut we i remember going on leave and uh from from boarding and just going to my uncle's house in unitech and his mm. wife was his wife was um was like oh we we're like hungry and she's like all right everyone get the hell off your asses like mm. r.i.p auntie but you know she's not there anymore but you know she got us off uh, out of the house and we just literally went to the market uh, my brother and my cousin like started like foraging around the garden, got pit pit. Oh, um, pit pit. Yeah, banana, mau yeah. banana. We just went to get coconuts at the market, bro. When we came back, mm-hmm. everything was ready and we just like scraped coconut. It, probably like 30 minutes, probably prep or 30, 40 minutes prep. Yeah, yeah. And then by the end of that, I was just like bored as. And then my auntie was like, you know, the fire was already going with the stones and everything. I put it all together and we had fish, man. Oh, bro, mm-hmm. next level. And I think it's the shallow pots deep but like not so much the big tall pots but the the wide ones and that's probably best to make the eye gear with because yeah like even distribution mm. um and i think it cooks better i'm not sure yeah. correct me if i'm wrong maybe there's different ways but the fish i get we had there was oh, to this day i still remember it. it had like a smoky sort of because the rocks went in and just like fish on top the fish yeah, yeah the fish was just crisp and oh then and the coconut just like sizzled Made it sweet. Yeah, and not put, like you obviously put the flavoring, like little cherry tomatoes, onions, garlic, and oh, ginger. Oh, mate. 
No, nothing goes wrong. It's a it. deadly combo. Yeah, I know. Straight That's to a, sleep after that one. Mm. Mm. An agir that I'd really like to taste is one done by um, Tola Chef, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He's a you know big fan yeah. of the uncles. He shared one of our reels. That's right. Uh, he's he's a he's probably the one and uh, he's probably another person that I'd go to. I know that there's a lot of people out there that have their yeah. own renditions, but I, I love his uh, you know his cooking videos. Yeah. Sometimes he you know he does the you know nice little meal on the beach. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. 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 Honest. Uh, no, that's that's literally uh, yeah. That's that's I get right. Mumu. Any, yeah, yeah mumu. Any uh, any memories or anything? Oh man. Talk about the mumus, me. man. Uh, mumu pit. Me overall, just you know, every time I've you know been around an event and where they've had mumu, it's just you know, it's you can just smell it from ages away already. Oh yeah. Like you you walk into a house and there there's mumu in the back. You can oh. smell it at the front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, just smell it. The smoke is good. You can smell it from the back. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Talking about Mumu here. Yeah, Mumu, yeah, yeah, Mumu, 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 Mumu. <laughs> this is not Tower Games. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, but Taro is involved in. Exactly. In Mumu so, as well, so. I mean, that, I was trying to segue into that. You know, ah, good, thing. good. So, <laughs> 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 not jokes, jokes. Uh, okay. You know that guy that just died. Nah, that's, <laughs> not, that's not good. That's another time. We'll get him on. We'll explain. We'll do. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Back to Mumu. Um, they have Taro and the Mumu, but as I was saying, you can smell it when you're going into, you know, somebody's house because usually a Mumu is, you know, it's done for special occasions. Whether that's uh, you know bringing a, a family together or graduation, wedding, uh, you know birthday, yeah, um, or even you know it's it's like our traditional barbecue. So, yeah, you know, you know it's you Aussies out there. You know you go and you do your Sunday roast or you you know your barbecue. You know back in PNG, um, people do their mumus. Um, and ultimately, what a mumu is, it's a it's an underground oven, and people use hot stones, hot rocks, hot rocks, um, and and you know put they can put whatever they want. You know, you can put uh, chicken, pork, uh, chicken which pork. is usually the favorite up in the highlands. Yeah, pork, definitely. pork, pig, pig meat, um, and then Beef you got your meat. yeah, you got and then you got your cow cow, which is sweet potato. Uh, and taro, which you know everyone knows taro, uh, and then your your greens. So lots of greens. I think we call it ibica, but yeah, ibica. Um, I don't know what the English word for it is. Yeah. Um, I it's, wouldn't know. It's kind of like a spinach, but yeah, very a long thick, spinach. Thick. It, uh, that's, I, I it's a leafy green. Know. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost um. I want to say kale. <laughs> nah, Kale's way uh, different. Kale would go off straight kale, away. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, if, if anyone knows the English word for Ibica, throw it in the comments. Yeah, yeah scientific term. Uh, let us know. But I mean, yeah. look, that's the that's probably the you know for me it's about the the gathering aspect of of having a mumu, which you know, it's 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 like a hangi for those you know Kiwi people out Cheer there. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. Um, just getting together and you know having a hangi, um, yeah. and. I don't think I've ever had a, you know, bad tasting mumu ever. Ever, bro. <laughs> like, um, yeah. anyone that does it, you know, does it well. The chicken is, you know, oh. it's just falling off the bone with the coconut yeah. cream and the, oh, you know, taro is just not hard. It's nice and soft and yeah. just like falls yeah. apart too. It, and it's, it's crazy that you say that because like, you know, sometimes when the meat's finish, you know, as we, as we know, a lot of people go finish off the <laughs> meat, but like you got bloody... Cow cow or sweet potato and banana for, for days, man. Yeah. Like, like you can just put that in a in a little Tupperware container. Oh. Like have it like what a day or two after. Oh. Still good, if not even better, because there's flavor, eh? The flavor. Coconut cream, mm -hmm. like you said, uh, tomato, Maggie sauce, um, little condiments on ginger, the side. Mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Um, so it's just you know there's so many different things. 
that go into a mumu, yeah. it's preparation, food, but you know, when it comes out and it's on the plate, Ooh. delicious. Delicioso. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, Corona. Ooh, ooh. Uh, no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, we don't want to be cultural here. But um, look, let's. We, you know, we rambled on a bit there. And we, we want to finish up now, because my laptop's actually dying. Um, oh shit! It is. Yeah. So quickly, off the top of your head, Charles. Um, you know, what are some of your fruits, veggie snacks? I know Ooh. I've listed a few down there, mm. but, um, you know, speak about those ones that maybe might remind you of your childhood. Mate, the biggest one I just saw on the list, Lao Lao. Ooh, mate. Sweetness. That's, I feel like I grew up on that, and I think a lot of PNG kids would know mm. when that season comes around. I think oh. it's a little bit after rainy season. Yeah. Um, and then the lalas just start. You see red blooming all around. Um, oh, yeah. You see usually bushes, it's just red and pink and just different, really vibrant red and pink. Like when I see that on the, on the tree, that reminds me straight away that, you know, <laughs> time to climb. Season. <laughs> Lala season's here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, like just climbing up and just spinning. I remember my neighbors would literally have the, like, three different trees mm. and we had one little one i was always like within two weeks like it was already the laulas would already start getting bad so you know um that like that that ripened really quickly and then i was only had like a little short time but theirs would you know come and then they'd, like they'll all fall off and then they'll grow again and then like oh, oh, you know, two rounds or something it was just yeah. crazy and i'd spend like hours at a day like at in the daytime and then i remember when my friends would finish climbing the tree all the big kids climb the tree already and leave like i'm just there like climbing up afterwards like going to the other branches they couldn't reach <laughs> but yeah lao lao really Ooh. reminds me of um, my childhood and that yeah spend whole days just yeah chomping on those red things yeah, and i think you know that's the same thing yeah. for me it was you know five corner oh, oh yum. yeah star fruit yeah star fruit star fruit five corner we had a tree right outside the house and you know, every time it'll, you know, when it starts to grow, you'll just see it hanging there. And man, maybe with some of the sweetest ones, you just bite into it. Yeah. Oh, I can just taste the juice in my mouth already. Yeah. Wow. Like, like it's such a different. They, wow. I don't know. Like, you can't explain the fruit to people. Like, oh, it's I not can't. like an orange. Or it's, it's not. not like no, a, it's definitely not yeah. like. It's so crazy and like. The shape and just yeah, you know, it's so like, different. The taste too, yeah, it's yeah. just got its own unique. It has like a it really starts off with a sweet first, yeah, and then it comes like bitter or something at the end. It's like a little like a bite or something at the end. Yeah. I know, I know what you're talking yeah. about. That's a that's the first fruit I remember. Like there was, I found distinct about going back to Rabal. They had yeah, a lot of five okay. corners, man. We climbed the tree and the, the branch broke because too many kids were in the tree. <laughs> man, man, we were lucky that they were blessed that day. No, yeah. one, no one died, but oh. honestly, <laughs> five corner, man, yeah. five corner. Man, well, uh, my laptop's going to die, people. Yeah. Um, we've done three tonight, so, you know, we, we're pumping out content for you guys. Yeah. Um, but look, we hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you, Chucky, once again. Thank you, Uncle Richie. Thanks for letting us come around to the apartment. And, yeah. No worries, man. This is what we want to do. This is what we want to get to the people and, you know, Go on, hit that subscribe button, like, follow, comment, do everything. Guys, thank you once again. Over and out.